Good morning everyone, this is Tyler here again with Woodland Frenchies, again with Stella. And today we got a really good video for you guys. Um, it's gonna talk about how to make sure that your puppy is healthy when you first get them. So we're gonna go over different health things to ensure that when you first get your puppy upon arrival, that you know, there's a couple of things that you need to make sure that the puppy is doing and if there is, say concern, um, say your puppy's not eating or drinking, we're gonna have some different tips help you make sure that your puppy is gonna make it because sometimes with travel, um, with size, different things can affect you know the health of a puppy and we just wanna make sure that you guys are prepared for that time. Worst case scenario, now most of the time your puppy should arrive you know, in amazing condition and um, and sometimes you go and pick a puppy up and which is great. So, but I just wanna, you know, there's, I'm sure there's people out right now that are searching on YouTube or somewhere out there you know, maybe their puppy isn't quite doing too good and they're searching, how can I make sure my puppy, you know, survives or is doing well. This video is for you guys and I hopefully this helps, you know, at least, you know, maybe save one Frenchie or, you know, I just really hope this video helps because it is going to kind of go into some pretty in-depth things. But yeah, for, you, for those of you guys that are new, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe uh, button after this video because you guys really enjoy this video. And also give this video a like once we're done. Come. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. So yeah, this is Stella here. And again, we're just really passionate about French Bulldogs. We're just helping you guys out uh, with any questions that you guys have. And show them our love for Frenchies. Yeah, good girl. So yeah, guys, we're going to get right into it. And going to kind of start off with kind of the first, you know, first phase all the way to maybe last resort on what to do say again you have your puppy that just comes to you and you're having maybe some issues of not eating drinking and those sort of things so again the biggest thing when a, a puppy does come to you is to always make sure that they're eating and drinking no matter what I know you want to play with it I know you want to uh, you know love give it some love you might want to give it a bath you might want to uh, you know, put all its clothes and different things on it, different things like that, uh, which is good. And if it, it's energetic and ready to go, that's all great. But again, the main thing when you get that puppy home, make sure to give it some water, make sure to give it some of the food that the breeder provided you with. And because that's the most important, because you do not want that puppy to not eat or drink that night. They have to, in order to make to show that, you know, everything's good. Um, and that you know stress from the trip or stress from um, just the size or whatever that may be um, is not affecting the puppy so one thing that we do have here it's called 40 cow it's by Doc Ray's and this is something that any transportation company should have um, on most breeders do have and it's just a really high calorie uh, paste that you can give a puppy and they just love the taste of it so you can kind of see it's this kind of uh, sticky gooky stuff but this is definitely something that I would definitely give a puppy and what you can do with this is actually put it on top of the food <laughs> still want some I'll give that a little bit here watch she'll love it up oh, come here up oh, up oh, jump yeah, that's some good stuff. So what you can do is put this, <laughs> you can see how much she really loves it. I should not have done that. Is, you know, you'll get, again, get a little bag of dog food. You go ahead and put a little bit, like a teaspoon on top, smothered around on top of the dog food. If you see that the puppy's not eating, put that on there. They're gonna start licking that stuff and then gradually go into the actual dog food. And that's a great way to help make sure that the puppy is eating the hard dog food because at eight weeks old the puppy should be weaned from the mom it should be on to the hard stuff um, and ready to go and this will make sure that <laughs> as you can see that uh, the puppy will begin eating and so yeah this is Doc Ray's 40 cow definitely highly recommend this another thing to make sure that your puppy is eating it's called Royal Canine Starter Mother and it's like a moose is what it's called We'll get a little close up on this. And there are other soft foods which you could use, but I highly recommend this one here. This one is a very healthy, 
and it's just got this taste to it that puppies really love. We did this uh, video kind of on this stuff in our past video of our little Frenchie litter, you know, puppies that are around six weeks old. Um, we use this stuff here, and we do use this stuff at Brown to kind of help with the weaning process. Um, but this would be a, another good thing that um, breeders should send along uh, with their puppies in case, again, the puppy is not eating well. So this is good. Make sure that puppy gets the protein. So that this is to help with the eating. Now, if the puppy is not drinking water, um, that could be, you know, that's that's definitely not a good thing. As far as you know, we'll get into a couple things with this here with the with water. I have a little water dish here, um, but yeah, puppy definitely should be eating water, drinking water, and um, I'm trying to think reasons for not drinking water for a puppy would be you know if they do have some type of sickness especially right now you know it's winter time a puppy is more likely to pick up a sickness if it's too cold um, so that would be something you know if, if they do get sick they're not drinking water um, but in, in another instance say a puppy is maybe really tiny or maybe stressed out they might not be drinking water this is something that we do use here it's called foster care puppy milk replacer and it provides a complete nutrition with digestive and immune support so this is kind of taking the place of mama's milk right here and i'm going to scoop some of this stuff out and we're also going to kind of talk about some type of other sicknesses that a puppy could have but basically you just put this in the water dish here so you want to come over and, and watch me mix this together So you just put this in the water here. And this is, again, if your puppy is not drinking water or if it's not eating, this is something that, you know, if hopefully the puppy could drink this out of the bowl. If not, we're gonna actually show, you know, using a water droplet thing or a, one of those guys. You keep mixing this up. I might have had a little bit too much water in here, depending on the ratio. We'll have directions. Okay. So mix that up, and then hopefully the puppy would drink out of that. If not, again, this is if your puppy is not drinking, not eating, all that stuff that shouldn't be happening. needle so here's like a little water droplet you can just go ahead and do that and then you know obviously you don't if you ever do have to use one of these things you don't want to just spray it into the puppy's mouth just watch you it'll obviously shoot and again just let the come in and then just gently you know for the puppy just squeeze it out you don't want to overshoot it like that because you don't want the water to get into the wrong pipes of the puppy so yeah this was this stuff right here the foster care again this is if the puppy is not eating or drinking this is a good very good um, nutrition you know a lot of good nutrition and everything to make sure that the puppy is getting what it needs say your puppy is sick or not eating or drinking so again first first step is to always use the 40 cow if the puppy's not eating then you have this stuff here, the, the moose, starter moose with royal canine. If, um, this on hand is always good, the, the foster care um, puppy milk replacer. If the puppy is sick or if any of this stuff is not working. Now, let's just say the puppy, it's just not taking any of that stuff. It had a rough trip, transportation, with the transportation or it just came to you sick. Then we're gonna talk about you know next steps you know obviously calling a vet is a good thing to do and I would recommend right away you know if, if they're not doing any of this right away first be sure to talk first be sure to talk to the breeder and let them know what the situation is maybe they have a solution to help you out with second call the vet 
and I would not wait too long guys you know if you see that your puppy is not eating or drinking because again that is the most important thing if you let the puppy go too far without doing those steps it can get too late so <laughs> Stella sees somebody at the door so in all seriousness definitely you know be sure to follow these steps and do not wait to take the puppy into the vet if need be and the biggest thing that they're going to be able to do is provide a IV. An IV is just going to, you know, obviously provide, you know, liquids, um, which could be caused from a puppy. Maybe the puppy had the big thing is dehydration. And I wanted to show this Stella. Come here, girl. Stella, come here. What do you can you bring Stella over here? I wanted to quick show something. Um, this is a big thing. Stella, come. You want a treat? Come here. Come. Come here. So I forgot to show a good example. One thing for you guys to check when your puppy does come to you to see if your puppy is um, not hydrated or there's not is to watch this. So <laughs> I scared her. I'm not trying to hurt you, girl. Watch. Let's see if she'll hold still enough. But do you want to get a close up when I do this? It's okay. It's okay, Stella. You're all fired up now that somebody came in. So let's you check if this if her fur bounces very back right away when you pull it up. See how it just goes right back. You see that? That shows that she's dehydrated, like she's definitely hydrated as water. But what's gonna happen, it's gonna slowly bounce back if the puppy is, is dehydrated. So be sure, you can check kind of on the back of the neck if that skin slowly goes back when you pull it out. That will show that the puppy is dehydrated and you definitely probably wanna call it that. Get an IV in if all these methods that we talked about is not working. So that will be a big step to do so. And so just again, talking about previous experiences, you know, I'm not, obviously I don't have a script here with what I'm doing in this video. I'm just trying to talk with prior experiences, talk, other people getting their puppies that maybe have came to us that say, hey, my puppy's not you know, doing well, what, what can I do? And I'm just trying to help you guys out with, with uh, showing these methods. And a couple other things that could uh, occur. One thing is giardia. So giardia is again, something that is caused by stress and it can come from the breeder, but, and a lot of times the vets are gonna say that, you know, it, it most likely if the puppy obviously, you know, you know, has it when they come into the vet, you know, they're gonna say it came from the breeder. Well, it, that's not always the case. It can come from transportation stress, um, just being in a new environment. It can come from, let's just say your puppy did get transported with another um, litter or other puppies. It can catch it from from another puppy. So, and whether, who cares where it came from, let's just say, you know, the main thing is to make, make sure that it's taken care of. So, Giardia can cause, you know, some of the puppies not to eat, drink, you know, it gives, basically that means the puppy's under stress. So that is a, a, a you know, thing that the puppy could have. Um, so be sure to check out for that and just really look for if the puppy has a loose stool and if there is a little bit of blood in the stool that could be a sign that it does have giardia. It's definitely curable and you know the vet should have some some you know remedies for that. One thing that us as a breeder we do use it's called Marquee. This is something that is very hard to get a hold of and if you can find somebody that does have it it will clear up Giardia Coxidia really quick. So a little, uh, you know, tip right here on that. Um, but again, guys, last resort would be to use it, call it that get an IV if something would occur. So hopefully you guys, you know, this is not a fun topic to talk about. I'm sure some of the people that are watching this video, if they are, they're searching for it, you know, you might be under some stress and with your puppy, and, or if hopefully this is something that you can just be more prepared to say something would occur. So um, that would be another good reason for, you, for somebody maybe watching this video. But again, I hope this helps. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if it did. Um, give it a like, we'd really appreciate it. And if there are any other types of health benefits or any type of questions you guys have if your puppy is sick or if you have questions about whether how your puppy is doing if it's not eating or drinking feel free to always reach out to us on instagram uh, message us in the comments uh, we're here to help with anything 
if, if you guys do have some issues, I mean, <laughs> I definitely don't want anything to happen to anybody's Frenchie or puppy in that matter. So, and this applies to all puppies, not just French Bulldogs. So hopefully this video helped guys and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks and have a good day.